Okay, in maths, today we are going to start the topic that is shoe stock. Stock. Or you can say a shoe stack, not O A stack. Why the name of this lesson is shoe stack? Actually, here are the boxes in which there are different size of shoes. So how many boxes we have boys? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five. So we have five boxes and these are boxes of shoes. So this is called stack means which num which shoe size number is inside the box like some people have small shoe size some of the people have small shoe size some of them have big shoe size so this is the difference so some of them use 39 40 25 29 23 and 42 i wear shoe size 40 you can also check after the class what is your shoe size okay every box of the shoe it has a number like 39 it is written on the box by seeing it we understand that we have 39 size shoe in the box 39 size shoe in the box so it is easy for the shopkeeper to find the size of shoe because in the shoes shop there are many different shoes and different styles with different size so it is going to be very difficult so to make it easy for the shoe a shopkeeper in the market it we tell the shopkeeper we need this size of the shoe and he will within minutes they will say these are the shoes that are of your size they can find the sh shoe size easily because it is written on the box of the shoe. This is why it is, it makes them easy for in the workers who work in the shop that which shoe size is where it's situated, where they put the size of shoes like this every shoe has a stack has a number so there are also numbers for their design print and color so here coming back to the lesson he is saying which is the smallest shoe size here in the five boxes you are going to see which of the shoe size is the smallest so right here the shoe size that is smallest you can see outside the box so 23 is the smallest shoe size smallest means sagheer or the small 23 so right in front of this question 
which is the smallest shoe size? It is 23. And how did I find it? By looking at the boxes. Because the sizes are mentioned on the box. Like 39, 25, 29, 23. So, this is how I came to know that 23 size is the smallest shoe size. 23 is the smallest shoe size. First of all, we are going to see tens. In this question, what we are going to do, we are going to see tens. We are not going to see ones. We are going to see tens. First tens and then ones. Okay. This is how we are going to know the size of the shoe. Which is the biggest shoe size? Now see carefully and check which shoe size is the biggest. Which shoe size is the biggest? 39, 25, 29, 23, or 42? So which one is the biggest shoe size? Tell me boys, which is the biggest shoe size in the, you can type it in the message. Yes, most of you are sending me the right message. Well done. So the boys are saying that 42 is the biggest shoe size. So here, right, 40, 42 is the biggest shoe size. 42 is the biggest shoe size. You have, you have seen it which is the smallest shoe size and which is the biggest. By seeing at first tens, then we have checked the ones. By checking tens and ones, we got, we got the size. We got the size, which is the proper shoe size in our book. So here, 23 is the smallest shoe size and 42 is the biggest shoe size. Okay, these are our two questions that were asked by the author that Biggest means Kabir. So biggest is the 42. Moving on to the last question that is in the end. Write the shoe size in order. So you have to now write the shoe size in the order. But he did not tell us that whether we have to write it in ascending or descending order. So you are going to write it in ascending. Means from smaller to the greater. So what we are going to do, write them here in the, from smaller to the biggest. So we have seen that 23 is the smallest. What number is after 23? We have 25. So write 25. After 25, write 29. Here the tens are same, but how we are writing? We are writing by looking at ones. We are looking and writing them in order with the help of 
once. So first of all, you have to write, you have to check the tense. After tense, what you are going to do, you are going to check the ones, okay? First tense and after tense, you are going to check out the ones. After 13, 29, we have 39 and 42. This is the order. This is the right order. Yes. This is the right order that we are writing. Okay. If we see, if the, he's saying, write them in order from biggest to the smallest. So what we are going to do, we are going to write here from down 42, 39, 29, 25, and 23. This is from biggest to smallest and here from smallest to biggest. So right here, S, S means from smallest to biggest, whereas here we are going to write B means from biggest to the smallest number. Now we are arranging. What we did, first we find out the number that shoe size that is smallest. Then we have written the shoe size that is the biggest one. And then we have arranged them. What is the meaning of arrange? We have arranged them. Here in vocabulary, you can see the shoe size is 25. This shoe size is 25. Maybe if you see under your shoe, you will see that your shoe size is 25, 29, or 23. With the passage of time, when you are going to grow, your foot size is also going to grow till the age of 18. After the age of 18, your shoe size remains the same. So an adult has shoe size 39 and above, from 39 to above. But the babies, toddlers and child, they have shoe size from, they have the shoe size between 20 to 35. This is arrangement. This is the arrangement. So here in this topic, what we have learned we have learned which is the smallest and biggest number, their meaning. Each shoe have different shoe size. Every shoe, shoe has its size and it varies from a baby to an adult. When a baby is born, his shoe size is small. His foot is very small. But when with the passage of time, it grows, the shoe size also grows with the, grows with the time. So this is the time. This is the, our topic. What else was the, in the topic? That how we are going to arrange the shoe stack. There are two ways to arrange the shoe stack from smallest to the biggest, or you can arrange from biggest to the smallest digit. Understood boys? So here, see the picture. Is it arranged? It is, has he put the shoe stack in the ascending order or descending order? So none, 
he did not arrange the shoe stack he just put them on one by one so it was very difficult for shoe keep shoe seller or the shoe keep shopkeeper to find out the shoe that is required by the customer when we have arranged the shoe stack in from smallest to the biggest or from biggest to the smallest now it is very easy for the shoe, uh, shoe shopkeeper to find out the shoe size that is required by the customer okay that's all for today's lecture now what you are going to do open your